Hey guys, welcome back to another empowering technology tutorial. As you can see, I'm already in the back end of our website that we set up previously. Go through Cloud Access and access your, your website and get into the back end like I am. And I'm going to show you a little easier way of accessing your website instead of going through Cloud Access every time. So once you're here, you're going to click over here on the settings and go to edit account. Once you're inside your profile, unfortunately, because we're going through cloud access, they go ahead and assign us um, a login name and we can't change that. However, you can set the password to be whatever you want. So pick a password that's easy for you to remember and go ahead and set that up. Once you've put your password in and confirmed it, hit save and close and then click over here again on your little settings um, icon and log out. Now instead of going through cloud access you're going to do it directly. So now that you're here what I suggest you do is click on the address up here in the address bar and if you're using Chrome you can just click on it where it's all highlighted and grab a hold of it and then stick it anywhere down here you want in your uh, little toolbar. You'll have direct access to your website anytime you want to log in. I've already got mine over here so let's go ahead and log back in. Type in your username and your password and now we are back inside our website in the back end. That makes it much quicker, much more efficient instead of having to go through cloud access every time you want to work on your website you have it right there you just click on the link in your toolbar and bam the first thing we're gonna do is we need to create some pages I've already done that but I'm gonna show you how to do it really quickly um, I assume that maybe most of you might already know how to do it so this is gonna be really brief to create pages in Joomla you need to click on content and then go to article manager. By default we already have this getting started page. We're inside the article manager we're gonna click on new and then don't worry about any of this other stuff right now just create your pages. Just the title area type in whatever you want home I've already I already have a home page once you've typed in the title hit save and new and then just keep repeating that until you have created all the pages that you want to create for your website and we can always come back and create more pages at a later date so like I said just type in whatever you want it to be like I have a home page a services page a contact page and what else I can't remember <laughs> I have oh and an about page so I have you know four pages now once you're all done with that in Joomla you not only have to create pages but then you have to create menu items to link to your pages so that you can actually visit them and see them on the front end of your website in order to do that you go to menus scroll down to main menu by default you'll already have a home page your home page however will be or excuse me not page your home menu item will be linked to the getting started page you want to change that if you created a home page you want to click on this home menu item where it says select article it'll probably say getting started right here so you'll click select and then you'll go to home click on home and then you'll hit save and new now you'll just run through and create menu items for all of the other pages that you created if you have an about page you'll type in about for the menu title menu item type you'll click on select you'll go to articles 
single article and then once that's done select article so if you had an about page and about was your menu title you'll click about it's pretty straightforward and simple well once you've done all that the very last one just hit save and close and look at the front end of your website and you'll see that you have some pages however all your pages are blank because we haven't created anything to put inside here yet but Nevertheless, you do have four or five pages, depending on what you created and what you link to, that we are going to develop. So that's it for this tutorial. I just wanted to show you really quick and really briefly how to set your pages up and link your menu items to them. Follow along in the next tutorials. I'm going to show you how to use the image slider without downloading any extra extensions. I'm going to show you how to use all of the short code that Helix offers for this template. You can use short code for icons, the image slider, displaying YouTube videos, tabs, the accordion. There is so much short code packed into this template. It, it's, it's really, really a very nice and very well put together template for free. I don't think you can get a much better free template. It is so versatile when it comes to what you can do with it. So you definitely want to watch the next tutorials coming up. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. If this tutorial helped you out in any way, give it a quick thumbs up. And I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.